How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Mojave. It's me, Captain Shaq, or John Rowland, as the case may be, in this Let's Play. Join with me is Niner. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's I think it's early morning. Is it early morning here? Oh, actually, it's evening. That's right. We didn't sleep. We just... Had a couple of drinks and waited for the storm to pass by. Trying to figure out how to talk these cons into not supporting the Legion. That's not Rex. And Rex isn't set to its normal key. What's going on here? Why do I have the, the button? Uh, there's Rex. Let's see, Rex got the right shotgun hunting rifle. That's all I actually wanted. Why? Why do I have a 5mm submachine gun? Why do I have a P90? I never had a P90. This is the same save as last time you guys saw. But I have a P90. Huh. So there's been some mod changes, obviously, because I've got a P90 now. And what happened was I took out all the mods I wasn't using. There was a pistol, the CZ something something. Uh, it was actually on here, the demo version of it. And I had, you'll probably see it if you watch the Let's Play on a lot of the bandits. And I noticed it was popping up more than almost any other weapon in the game, and it was a modded pistol. So I wasn't really using it, it wasn't all that, you know, it was a kind of a neat gun, but nothing fantastic. So I got rid of it, I th and a few other mods, like the Gravedigger mod, because it was a little buggy. Um, yeah, see, I got the Dragoon Assault Rifle instead of the Chinese Assault Rifle now. It's the same weapon, it just changed the name. So, it looks like, I don't have any ammo for this, I need more 5.56. It looks like removing that pistol has allowed all the other weapons to show up. Hello? It was like overriding other weapons. Or possibly, it could have been any of the mods that I was, that I had installed. Veronica, Veronica. Uh, let's get out of here. Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. I know, right? A little notch marks on her. <laughs> on the power glove. So yeah, yeah, uh, I'm punching people. Okay, Niner, Veronica, y'all ready to roll? We're gonna head south. Actually, for no good in-character reason, our quest is taking out into the middle of the desert over that Hello. way. Howdy! What's up, Easy Pete? How you doing, man? That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Oh, yeah, I hope you guys take out the, the bad dudes. So... Catch you around. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Wasteland? Yeah, you know. I will. I've already been in the schoolhouse. There's some nasty stuff in there. Freaked me out, I remember. So, before we hit the road, I actually want to go talk to Doc Mitchell. Um, because I want to give him the cybernetics book that I found a while back. Ooh, that sun's bright. And I bet I can bomb, you know, I know I can probably use this bed for the night to sleep. But I want him to be able to do the cybernetic implants that come with uh, Project Nevada. So, where's Veronica? There she is. Doc! Hey man. What's up? It's been a while. Look, I got clothes on this time. How are you holding up? Yeah, pretty good for somebody who got shot in the face, you know, a couple of weeks back. So... Doc, I'd like you to perform cybernetic surgery. Sure, I can help you out. Thanks to your book on cybernetic surgery, this doctor learned how to install and remove implants from your body. Ah, oh, this is so cool. So, Project Nevada adds this system. And I do have a couple of implants that he can install in me. I just don't remember what they are, so we're just going to flip through the body parts real quick until I find one. Um, let's see here. You know what? I may have left them back at the house. So you find them, and he actually, you start with one that's in this house that I picked up, of course. They're worth a lot of money, but I try not to sell them because it kind of feels like a hack. Um, I must have left it back at the house, but now I can implant them. They'll give me little boosts, like there's some that make it quieter as you walk. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, actually, Doc, what do you got in the way of supplies real quick? How are you holding up? Any medical supplies? I'll take a Doc bag and a couple of stems. 
I like that I'm not stupid rich now, too. I've actually used up some, some money. One of my problems with playing this on vanilla is that I always you take care now. far too much money. You know, thousands and thousands and thousands of caps. I thought it was funny somebody commented, um, Oh, I've got more caps than Shaq. Well, that's fantastic, dude. That's <laughs> well done, well done. Yeah, I'm not gonna sleep. Let's just hit the road. We got a ways to go. Ooh, what's in here? Okay. So our map marker, for whatever reason, is pointing. There's the cemetery. Just like out there. Out in the middle of that way. I th might be the uh, the memorial actually. Could be the memorial. Sprint out there and find out. So I did the first vlog yesterday, and to great satisfaction, actually. Everybody was pretty happy with it. They want me to continue that that kind of channel update, give you guys an idea of what's coming out, what I'm working on, and I think I'll keep doing that. As in no set schedule, just you know, when I got random things to talk to you guys about. Um, the big thing was I just wanted to thank you guys for subscribing and being an awesome community and joining the Let's Play. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't make this. It wouldn't be nearly as fun going through this and like posing all the moral questions and you know whatnot talking about the events of the game what's gone so far um, I still get those comments where people are confused hey, it's a puppy dog hello coyote how are you Niners perk it makes it so canines are not hostile to me which is pretty cool pretty happy with that so how much you want to bet I'm supposed to go in there? Nope, yeah, I gotta go north. Gotta go this way. Also need to head down to Prim, because I finished that quest a while back to bring Law and Order to Prim. And bring it in the NCR. Was my plan. Well, this place is creepy. What do we got here? Anything I can use? Some maze? Ooh, duct tape. Always can use duct tape. A machete. Some... Yeah, just junk, really. Detergent. I can make stuff with detergent. Now that I got a house, I'm like, ooh, maybe I should collect all this stuff so I can... I can make stuff later. <laughs> There's a bed in here to sleep. Should we camp out for the night? Where's Niner? Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's just camp out for the night here, guys. We got a fire going. We got a bed here. That sounds like a good plan. We can head out in the morning. Early morning. Seeing how it's like 6 o'clock in the morning here in Phoenix. Ugh. some hurt too so let's fix this up should have some stim packs yeah I'm looking okay I need to eat something I've gotten this question a million times what mod is it that gives me this kind of uh, sorting where it says chem and food that is a par actually an option in Project Nevada so if you're looking for that just go into your options in PR and flip it on it is not. Oh, I didn't take a stem pack. Aid cam. No aid. There we go. Let's roll. Early morning. A little foggy out this morning. So that is just, it's a quick option. You just flick it on and it'll auto sort all your stuff. This isn't going to be high enough caliber. So I pull out the shotgun. That makes sense. Oh, damn, guys. Get him, get him, get him. I don't know if I brought anti-venom with us. If I did, we may have used it on the way here. Damn quesadors. Keep your eyes open, because I really don't want somebody to get poisoned. Hmm. 
All right, we got some AP rounds. That's all I've got, actually. Is I had a armor piercing. No wonder I kicked their ass so fast. Holy shit! Come on, hit me a little. This is the weapon to do it, though. High damage, armor piercing. How much for not getting poisoned. Give me a second. Ronick is fine. I know you're right. Wow, you guys are perfectly fine. All right then. So, I'm gonna get more points into repair. Get the survival up there, and a little bit more into sneak. I hate leaving them with one point. I like everything even. Oh well. Come on, let's loot the kills. On the road again. What do we have here? Looks like the rad scorpions got themselves a kill. Ten more rounds and some money and a beer. I'll take that beer. This isn't where it was leading me, was it? Because that'd be kind of silly. There's nothing here. Oh, it says dead ahead this way. We need to go up. What do you guys think? You know all the times that I've... A last life. Random. But acceptable. <laughs> all the times I've played this, I've never noticed that mercenary here. Oh well. Come on, Niner. So much for sneaking up on him, right? Come on, hit me a little bit. Yeah, he's not even going to get close to us. Rad scorpion hunting. No better way to start the morning, right? Oh shit. That's it. Why? Why not? I don't think I use bats enough. We're gonna have a lot of rad scorpion plans. So we're gonna have to find a use for this stuff. Yeah, what are we killing? Oh, no more rad scorpions. Coming up behind us now? Good grief. Hello, Prospector. With your nine iron. Some peanuts. Casual morning of killing every rad scorpion in the wasteland. Like another dead end. Not the best term to be using, but you know, whatever. Oh yeah, so I got that vlog out. Very happy with the. Oops, shit. Get down, get down, get down. Sneak attack. Love the high damage output of this gun. And the fact that the condition's like maxed out, which is nice. Can't go up that way. Keep your guns out. Gotcha. There he is. I knew we heard something. Oh, I'm over encumbered by scorpion glands here. Niner. Okay. Dude. I know exactly what's in there. I need you to hold some of this. Cause we've got like, yeah, we've got 20 of them. Just hold them all. Switch weapons. <laughs> I don't think you can use scorpion glands as a weapon unless you're going to beat them to death with their own body parts. Well, it looks like we're going to go around these rocks. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, it's our favorite neighborhood. Quesadors. Shit, 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 shit. Kill it. I can kill it. That's not what I wanted. It's just weapons. Fuck. I'm poisoned. I hate you. So much. 
so much. More than geckos. Hate you more than geckos. Do you know how much that is? Ah! <sighs> I'm gonna die. Come on, let me get into the pit boy. Not good. No bueno. I do have anti-venom on it. Quite a bit, actually. So That's good. Yeah, you've just gotta go shotgun and spray with those bastards. Right? Well, the SMG's pretty good against them. You don't have to aim all that well. Get the warp face on. Niner, damn, man. That's motivating right there. Huh. Grr. Looks like he's about to bite that microphone right off his face. <sighs> Alright, let's just get out of the mountains. That's probably what we need to do. Get out of the mountains and keep following this. Something's wrong. For the brotherhood. I'm drunk. Let's start. Alright, good job. Good job. Makeshift con camp. How do I light this on fire? Like, that should be able to be lightable, and I can't make any of this stuff. Nope. Nothing. Missing all the stuff, probably. A makeshift con camp with nothing in it. I'm so glad I discovered this. Oh, <laughs> uh, we don't need a camp. We're good there. Let's just hit the road. All right, we look pretty clear. Come on, hop. On the road again. This is actually heading back to the house. I think we're good though, we still have supplies. I've got plenty of, well, I'm burned halfway through my ammo, killing all those dead. The scorpions, and we're still no closer to our objective. Midnight special. Midnight on me. Go through the pass again. Had bad luck in this pass. In the past. With a death claw. Nest in here. Just keep your eyes open. Actually, can we go up? Maybe we can go up and around. That would be cool. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. Fantastic. Not fantastic. Less than fantastic. <sighs> Full grown baby death claw. I really want to go this way, though. Damn, damn, damn. I've got about 20 rounds. Well, the three of us, we should be able to take him down. There's only one. We should be alright. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, definitely. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, that's what happens when you get uppity and you think you can take on a death claw. Without the proper gear and equipment. I had this horrible dream where we were mauled horrifically by a death claw. Right? Yeah, it looks like you had it too. Your crazy war face was in that dream too. Hup. We'll take that as a warning not to go through the pass. Right? Right. On the road again. All right, so we're gonna go through the pass, and I will cut back in when something interesting happens. Well, so much for something interesting happening. <laughs> Damn death claws. See, now I don't mind death claws. Like, they're tough. They're supposed to be tough. I mean, look at the damn thing. It's like demon whatever. I don't even know what you want to call that. It's horrible looking and scary. But I'm alright with that. The Kazadors, on the other hand, are just bad game design. 
is what I think, actually. They're stupid fast. They'll poison you. They do way too much damage. Um, they're just... Ah, oh, they're annoying. So annoying. And the way they move isn't very natural, so they're really hard to shoot. Trying to, like, sneak through here. You know, we never actually walked back here and checked out what's in this, um... This back area. There could be supplies back there. There could be anything back there. Is that a manhole cover? Well, you first. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, this is, seems like a stupid idea. On the level of dumb ideas, could be anything down here though. Last time we went down the hall, we found a house or a vault with a security camera. Anybody home? Knock knock. Having a door on a button on the outside just seems like a bad idea. I wonder if it'll even open. Look how rusted it is. Oh, that's terrible sounding. Stack up. Hello? Not here to hurt anybody. Just want to say hi from the outside world. You guys are in a really precarious place. Like, the outside world sucks near your place. Hello? Hmm. I feel like I'm breaking and entering here. <laughs> Maybe there's nobody home. Uh, overseer's office. Let's, um... Let's walk down that way. There's plenty of cameras. You think they'd... Hey! Anybody here? I think they would know if somebody is here. Hey! Put my gun down so I don't like. <laughs> Howdy. What's up? Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. Not an inmate. Just another wastelander looking for work, brother. What's up, man? There's some fire geckos in the lower levels of the vault. We need to get them gone so we can get to the sulfur. You go clear them out for us. And there'll be some caps for you. Why? Hmm. What do you need sulfur for? Explosives. Bombs. Big, big fucking bombs. You gonna help us or not? Let's talk about something else. What do you want to know? Who are you and why are you, you here? You really don't know. I'm Samuel Cook. I was the brains behind the NCRCF prison break. Oh. So you're the dude that broke all those rapists and murderers out of prison. How'd you end up in prison? I was blowing up supply caravans along the 15 freeway. Oh, the NCR got wise you just told to my the wrong dude spots, that information. Picked me up and threw me in a cage. Because you were blowing up people that had needed supplies for other people. How'd you get out? A beautiful thing. Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. Really? So what part there was an place? abandoned vault along this mountain ridge, and that the wildlife here had teeth big enough to keep the NCR away. So why is the area so dangerous? It's a fucking death trap around here. Fiends swarm all over Vault 3 in the east, and there are fucking death claws south of that at Quarry Junction. If you're looking for humans, the cons are north of us, and there's an NCR base at McCarran, past Vault 3. Supposedly, there are muties to the southeast. Wow, so you guys really are in a shit sandwich right now. I mean, you're in the worst possible position. Uh, especially since the NCR hates your guts. That would be your only friend out here. Let's see, uh, let's see here. Tell me about Quarry Junction, because we're kind of heading that way. The NCR has been mining there for a while, but now... It's full of death claws. Don't go there unless you want a quick, bloody death. Wow. All right. Maybe that was the worst plan. Maybe heading south was a bad idea. What do you guys think about the Great Cons? They've been through some rough times, but they can hold their own. 
I wouldn't mind taking the boys and signing up with them if it weren't for Lim. Went for Lim? What about the super mutants? I've heard the muties there are different, completely insane, and supposedly they use some kind of invisibility technology. I'd stay away. Invisible super mutants. Yeah, it's probably just a Bye. rumor. Bill. I don't believe it. Bill is a prick, Jen. I don't like him. I'm gonna <sighs> shoot old so, Rail Bill. You know what? This isn't my fight. Let's just get the hell out of here. I have no problem telling the NCR where these guys are, though. Not that they got the manpower to do anything about it, especially in a fortified position like this. We might come back one day. I actually don't see the Powder Gangs being all that much of a pain in the ass. Lovely. First, a horrific Deathclaw dream. Then I'm assaulted by a baby Deathclaw. I find the home base of the Powder Gangers, and now it's raining. Right. I remember this place. That house was uh, surrounded by... by banditos. Uh, fiends, I think. Either Powder Gangers or Fiends, I don't remember which. Does it really matter at this point? Nah, it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! We're gonna go this way. Really gonna go this way. Yeah, there's two death claws over there. Full grown. Just hanging out. Damn it. Like, seriously. I know life sucks in the wasteland, but for us? In the last, like, day? What kind of crap? Let's head back north. Head to Camp McCann. We'll get up supplies. We need to go there anyways. I still gotta get my stuff back. The bastards raided my place in Prim. Seems like going south is just not our luck today. I know Niner's got some business in Vegas, so we're just gonna head to Vegas. Dead crops. Somebody tried farming out here. Seemed like it worked out so well. I don't see any viable food here. Oh, my controls have changed. I can't use my companion control for some reason. Oh, I know why. I changed my, um... There we go. Ah, oh, but it's still doing that. Because of FPS Weapon Wheel, I have a new mouse. I actually got me a new mouse. I got me an old G5 mouse, one of the best gaming mouses out. And it doesn't have as many buttons as my old one, but it's much more comfortable. But I have to rebind my keys. So where is Weapon Wheel? Ah, uh, button three is what we need to change. Let's make it number pad three. Pad two, pad three. There we go. Excellent. Let's move. Now keep keep your eyes open. This quarry doesn't look all that secure. Not time for another surprise, brother. We've got. We gotta get through this area first. This is where we had that battle with the fiends. I remember this. We're in fiend territory now. Them and their damn energy weapons. Ooh. I'll stutter there. Hopefully. Oh shit. I was about to say, hopefully, you know, they're pushed back. because of all the damage we did to him. We need to get across the bridge and head that way toward Camp McCarran. And then Freeside. Let's just clear the route.
I really want to lose her. Or him. It. Alright, moving up. The weather. He really earns a new hunting rifle. I'll take that. Shit, shit, shit. Must have heard the gunshot anymore. Oh, the quest for loot is putting us in more and more danger because I keep running farther into fiend territory. Spike knuckles. Neat. And a caravan shotgun. And use this stuff to trade for. Later on. Alright, let's get across the bridge. And toward Freeside. Beans. Fighting in CR. I got your back. Friendly's moving up. Don't shoot us. Yes! Chinese assault rifle. Awesome. I, um... Oh, I'm over encumbered now. Niner, don't need you to hold so some of these weapons. Killing's worth. Hang on to them for me, will you? Hey, maybe we can get you some ammo for that P90. What's up, boys? I really do appreciate our when I ladies. Got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Twins? Good work. Well done. Keeping the roads clear. <laughs> Why? Because I can. I fucking hate fiends. Shot the gun out of her hand. I fucking hate the fiends, that's why. I'm gonna have to watch my ammo though. What the... she got? Oh, yes! Kill fiends, get cigarettes. Whole new reason to kill fiends. Whole new reason. Oh my god, Roland's been out of cigarettes forever now. Uh, where? Where did it go? Damn it, Niner. You know Niner and Veronica are relieved now. They're like, oh, thank God. He's got cigarettes. He won't be such a dick. Is it under aid? I don't even know. Pack of cigarettes. Uh, oh, with one cigarette. <laughs> oh. Roland. Come on. There could be more. You don't know. Hey. Do you have cigarettes on you? Let's go find out. Damn. All you've got is stupid microfusion cells. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Yes. This day was a great success. Great success. Woohoo! Uh. Come on, let's try to push north. Uh, it's a little thing. It's a little things in life. Especially if you live in the wasteland. I didn't know they had cigarettes on them. Are we going to spend more time here? Fighting the good fight and all that. The El Rey Motel. Alright, there's Camp McCarran. Now, if we keep pushing north, I believe it's Freeside. So we've been told. Actually, I actually haven't been up there yet. Hmm. Says Brittle Plant over there. 
That could be worth a look, see? Not today, though. So yeah, I've been kind of doing a let's play of um, of uh, Space Engineers. I've been doing a lot of these builds, and I asked for people to send in their builds for that game. And I've gotten some really cool stuff. Uh, one of the dudes who kind of inspired me to do the Normandy build that I did, he did the shuttle from Mass Effect 3, the, the blue shuttle that the dude crashes. Uh, James, I think is his name. It's the Marine in Mass Effect 3. Alright, let's keep pushing north. Yeah, there's some buildings up here. Which, yeah, came out really cool. Like, that shuttle was badass. My Normandy wasn't bad. I thought it was half, half decent. Don't collapse and kill us. That would be bad. But, um... Oh, finally, the rain stopped. Maybe the sun will actually come out. But that game's a lot of fun. It does lack a lot of functionality, though. I mean, it's really just... Did you enjoy building spaceships with Legos as a kid? What the fuck? Hi. Strip letter. What, I like this suit. So sue me. Uh, what do we found here? Strip letter, huh? Data. Those gangsters at the tops cheated me. I know it. They're cheats and liars and thieves. Their games are rigged. I've lost every last cap, every NCR bill I had left. Those slot machines, you can never win. They're programmed just to make you lose, lose, lose. Their cards are marked so the dealers can cheat you. I promise you this invisible ink. I promise you this. Invisible ink or something. And the roulette tables, please. What a joke. The mall must be magnetic. And they can tell it to land anywhere they want. Uh, the people... What the fuck, dude? Oops. I think he's just got some bad luck. The people that do win... <laughs> they're... They're plants. They're employees. There's no way I could have lost like that unless they were cheating. No way, no way. Those fancy suits can't buy them class. They're just a bunch of damn con men. They're taking everything from me. I have nothing left. What am I going to do? I was supposed to win big there. This is where dreams happen. People told me I could make a fortune here. I just had to have the caps, and I could win myself a new fortune. That's all. It's gone. It's all gone. So, I bet you shot yourself, didn't you? You heard this Mr. New Vegas guy on the radio? He's okay. Sorry, dude. I'll do a way better job than him. He didn't make it. Hey, maybe that's what Wasteland chewed you up and spit you out. Storming over the place. That's why you don't gamble it away. The new station. Please don't gamble what you can't afford to lose. Because, you know, I raided the place, and, uh... And no, you're not raiding the radio station. Damn it, Niner. How many times I gotta tell you that? You know, I thought this side of town would be a little more lively. There's like nobody here. I'm just waiting to get ambushed from the rooftops or something. Great little kill zone here people can set up. I got some buildings up up north of here. I need binoculars. That's what I need. Well, there's definitely... Where's that other pack of cigarettes? Only three out of that pack. Thorn. This way. Let's ask a few questions, huh? Let's walk around town. A follower is always welcome among our people. A follower? Careful with those fiends in the western sewers. Yeah, well, I've been in the sewers, but they're also south of here. No pets. No pets, lady. The NCR took back Nelson. There's like nothing going on here. War after all. Well, before we go to the crap. <laughs> The crazy looking sewer with the word thorn written on top of it. Let's go into town, I guess. Hi. I kind of like being a farmer. Yeah. It's a better profession than a fiend. Or a junkie. 
And those are really your choices here, aren't they? Or soldier. I don't know, I guess I'd take the soldier's life. Watch out for fiends. Yeah. Hopefully you guys don't have any in here. <sighs> Howdy. Oh, hello. Hi. What do you do here? I deliver things and stuff for the people here. They give me caps to do it. Hey, I used to be a courier too. Bye. My route was a little larger though. Let's talk to this gentleman here. You may know what's going on. No, you're just more militia. Watch out for things. Yeah, I've been warned, but thank you. Actually, watering the plants. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back down the front. Yeah. Well, everybody's pretty calm around him, so I'm gonna guess not hostile. Howdy there, tall fella. Hi. Hi. What's a super mutant like you doing in a place like this? Ha ha ha! I wash my bone with sebe. I have uh -huh. pogo. Thieves are rope. Goodbye. Niner. Niner, you speak gibberish. Howdy. What's he saying? Ah, damn it. Oh, hi again. Hey, hello. So, uh, who are you? Masafabish. Nice to meet you, Masafabish. My pleasure is on my. Goodbye. Well, you're a polite fella. Junkies over at Vault 3 been taking some Take hits. it easy, Masafabish. How about something? Big green dude. I'm gonna call you the Hulk. The Hulk? We don't need the NGR. Get it? The comic! Weather-wise, it's such a <sighs> lovely day. I'm buying you a radio. Just say the words and we'll be... We need to... to ah, liquor. Polko, Come on, this has got to be your favorite place, Niner. Let's do this. Damn, man. You guys need some power. That's What's Swedish up? Sure something. Howdy. Name's Bob, Howdy. but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. What can I do you for? Well, Bob, uh, one, I take it you're from Klamath? <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> Screw geckos. It's a pretty geckos. dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. <laughs> so what do you got for sale? All right, then. Hopefully I've got something to wet your whistle. Actually, I'm hoping you've got cigarettes. I love this town. Best town ever. Cartons, not packs. Cartons. Um, yeah, it's three stocks of water. Oh, and you've got packs. You, sir, king among men. So, I'll give you some of my crap for it. I mean, my quality merchandise, which you won't find anywhere else. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, yeah, you can have the cowboy repeater and the 357, and the single shot shotgun. Everything else, I think I'm gonna hang on to. How you on ammo? You got any? Uh, you don't have any ammo. That's all right. You're you're okay in my book, Bob. Oh, shit. I think I just crashed. No! I just got the smokes. Oh. Crap. Yeah, I just crashed. Uh, damn. Okay, so we're back. I had crashed trying to buy from Bob, who had That's all the smokes something. on him. And guess what? Bob is bugged. I don't know if you guys have ever had this problem before, but if I buy from this vendor, and I just tested it with a few other vendors, and it worked just fine, but Bob here is broke as a joke. Every time I spy something, he crashes. Uh, I love the smell of radiation in the morning. Or he, yeah, he kills my game. So I don't know what's going on there, but there are other vendors in this town, uh, and I ran around. What up? Samad, Bob, Bada, whatever your name is. Hulk, Hulk man.
So let's explore the town a little bit more. A ramp to nothing. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know why it's why that, that crashed. I wonder if it was destabilizing. Well, here's the sewers. They said watch out for the fiends in the sewers. We don't need the NCR. Fifty locations found. Sweet pawn shop. Business hours. Cool. Come on. Let's go see if they got smokes and any and other items. Pick on the Pip Boy light. Howdy! If you're down on your luck and need some caps, I buy just about anything. Of course, I've also got plenty of things for sale, too. Kind of rude you're talking to the floor, dude. But uh, yes, I do have some things that I would like you to buy, and I would like to buy some smokes if you've got them. So, priority first. Ah, <sighs> cartons of cigarettes. You, sir. King. A king among men in the wasteland. So, what else we got? Here, take my stuff. I do have some... Oh, no, no, no. That's my actual rifle. I'm not potting that. You're not having that. You can have the broken one. Watts laser, varmint rifle, spike, knuckles, shotgun. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The messed up... Rex Caravan 357. That's good. Oh, and a cowboy repeater. Oh, you've got pulse mines. Oh, look at all the goodies. A zap glove. A zap glove. Hmm. I was thinking um, for Veronica. Another combat helmet. <laughs> Don't need a combat helmet. I think we're good. Yeah, I don't see anything else we need. Ammo. Take your 308s. Thanks, sir. Thank you for not crashing. Thanks. Until next time. Oh, no, I wanted to talk to you. Here to do business? I am. You've been in Westside long? Westside. My grandfather opened That's up this shop. At. Took over from him when the fiends killed him. Ah, uh, those fucking fiends, man. Until next time. Oh, you'd be happy to know I'm the guy who um, cleaned out all their leaders. And their vaults. And everyone I've run into ever. So, you know. That's the thing. Ooh. Break down some stiff. Don't need the 5mm rounds either. Save it until I get back to the house, since I don't have the rest of the stuff I need. So it's kind of a pretty simple place. What's up, fellas? Howdy. Howdy. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Oh, passing through. What are you doing, Westside? I help tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. How long you been around here? A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. Westside was a good place to settle down as any. Yes, it's not a bad uh -huh. place. You guys don't talk much here, though. Hell, you're like the first person to even mention the name of the city. Marco. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. <laughs> uh, this apartment building yours, you just, uh, garden it. Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something, but I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> yeah, Folks that. who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay, too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the Casa went full service. Right, so, about your tenants. Like who? You know what, never mind. Alright, then. Never mind. Catch you later. Niner, you want to stop here for a while? I'm not. You can save that money and get into the strip. Speaking of which, you got business somewhere near Vegas? What was your business in Vegas? Or at least where was it? All it says is head to New Vegas. Oh, they mean like Vegas. The center of Vegas. Right, right. we just go full circle? Or are you just walking around? Uh, hi. Hi.
West Side Co-op. Uh, let's poke around a bit. I think we just went in a big circle. Oh, we didn't. Howdy. Howdy. Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I do. Tell me about the co-op. It might not look like much, but it's what keeps us West Side locals independent. We started it a few years ago. I admit we had a lot of trouble at first, but eventually we got some help from Tom Anderson with the followers. We're finally to nice. the point where the co-op members can start making money from sales instead of just breaking even. Well, that's pretty good stuff. So what's your story? Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. It used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. I heard about the Van Graffs. Seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. Uh, so, what do you got for sale? All right. Yeah, food. It's all fresh, though. Actually, if I take some of this, I can throw it back home. Um, so, yeah, let me get a little maize. Let's get some fresh potatoes, a couple of apples. And some pork and beans for the road. Another satisfied customer. Yep, yep. See you later. Yeah, I'll help you guys, you know, fund this place. Pretty cool you're independent. You're making it. You're not making it by killing people and looting them. I mean, that's really the way to go. What's going on here? Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Damn. What do you do around here? Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. Tell me about Dermot, your partner. What do you even mean? He's Dermot. Dermot knows how know. to work salvage better than any man I ever met. Doesn't go asking questions all day, neither. All right. Fuck off. <sighs> Asshole. The NCR took back Nelson. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. It's definitely not, especially when we coming to you for it. What do you do around here? Me and my partner, St. James, work salvage around Westside. That's all. Why is your, par why is your partner called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strung, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. All right. Yeah, beat it. Does it feel like this part of town just didn't seem like it got a lot of work? Like they threw it together? I mean, it really seems empty, which is sad. Because it's a neat idea. I mean, it's a co-op. They're actually growing food. It's a positive place. Making an impact on the wasteland and there's like nothing NCR going on here. Head back to their lands. I'm sure their people miss them. <laughs> Brahmin. All right then, let's bail. We did some training. I want to know what's in the hole. What's down in the sewer here? The thorn. All right, guys. Next time on Dragon Balls, I mean next time on Fallout New Vegas. We're gonna find out what's down the Thor. Oh, you like it. You know, I had the worst night sleep last night. All right guys, catch you next episode. Shakes me, wakes me up. In the head.